welcome to our life. So we are trying to find a place to stay in Goa, but we are in different places as Arambol, which is way more expensive. So we've been visiting some places. Everything is like 13, 15 dollars a night, while us, we can pay normally maximum 10. Uh, so now we are waiting for a guy to open this room that we can visit, but the guy left to the temple because it's Shiva's birthday today with the key, so now we are waiting. But actually it's very nice. Look at the place. So we've been visiting already three places. Also we try to go to hospital today to do some tests. Uh, because uh, of a skin problem, because of the dirty water. That's the same as we're used to such a level of comfort that uh, when you clean yourself with uh, dirty water after months, uh, you get a uh, skin problem. And uh, what is tra we try to do? I don't remember. Do some shopping uh, and uh, yeah, visiting the place, find the beach. Uh, I want to die. But it's okay, it's just taking so long. Hopefully the guy will come soon. Who knows? Inshallah. And happy birthday, Shiva. So I take advantage of this moment to make the video about uh, what do you have to do when you arrive in a new country. So first of all, you need a SIM card uh, because you need to have internet to download all the apps that help you to save money. Uh, like the local Uber. So yes, like this, you can get out of the airport with the cheapest rate to go to town. You don't pay like $15, you pay like $5 because it's never more. Uh, but if you don't know the price, then the guys, they will try to charge you a lot, which is fair enough because that's part of the game. Then the second thing that uh, you have to do is uh, to find a place to stay. Um, especially if you're a teacher, you need a place with internet. And if you have uh, electronics, you need a place with AC because your electronics don't like uh, this kind of climate. I mean, come on guys, we are literally in the jungle. So yes, that's the, the thing. You need to have a place to stay for the first, like uh, first night or first two nights. And then you can be uh, looking for another place. Um, because you will walk around in the first days and you will be like, oh, I like this place, this little district or something, and then you will be like, okay, I need to move here. If you're alone, you're going to save so much money because you can just take a dorm bed and uh, you don't have to pay a room. And so your dorm bed is going to be maximum uh, one to five dollars a night. So that's great. And uh, yes, then you need to eat, you need to try not to be sick. Uh, before leaving, uh, before arriving in a country, what you need to check is uh, how to get your visa, what kind of visa, how much it costs, uh, what do you need to get your visa. Sometimes you just need to go in the country and they do your visa at entrance. Sometimes you need to do a e visa online. Sometimes you need to do a visa at embassy. So this you need to check. But when you are European, so you, when you have European passport, that's great because you have a lot of facilities with those visa. Then you need to check the COVID bullshit thing. So you need a PCR, yes, no. You need a vaccine, yes, no. So good luck. Um, and then uh, you take your plane ticket. And uh, so how to have the cheapest plane ticket. So me, my technique is that I go to Skyscanner and a website like this. But at the moment, I really use Skyscanner. Um, and then they will redirect you to online travel agency on which you have the best rate. But first of all, if you want to save money, you need to, even if you take two days to go to your place, sometimes you need even to stay a few days in a place. Um, and then, yeah, you just need to check all the dates. So you need to check from different airports. Yes? I will get uh, one minute so far. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm fine. Yes, I know, my love. I'm waiting downstairs because I can't be bothered to go upstairs again. The guy is still not here, putain. F*** off. Okay, we see. I don't think we will ever see this room in our life. <laughs> Anduna. Is there like a rocky beach?
बार बार पीमा चाहता नहीं कार्ड बार बार बड़े मन्नत उलाई से लॉट ऑफ डॉग इज़ यो लो टाइड इट्स ऑलवेज लो टाइड सिंस वो हियर सनसेट ओह सैली सैली सो वी विजिटेड फोर प्लेस Alors the first place was horrible. Uh, look like a place you will uh, do sequestration of girl uh, for prostitution. So no, thanks. We don't go this place. Second place was nice. I really like a lot of uh, jungle. Uh, it's where I filmed before. Third place was so fancy and nice, but they all do a surprise. Huh? But uh, the guy is a bit too fancy for me. I don't like the vibe, and the last place was the best. Like uh, it's the place where Daphne uh, told me to go anyway. So that's always this. Listen to your friend. Uh, it's very nice, and I think uh, I will try to manipulate uh, Stephen to make sure that we are going to stay there, because I want to stay there. So then you will see the place I will show you. But for the time being, we take a rest on the beach. Waiting for the sunset that's gonna happen soon. Oh, mon amour! <laughs> I'm being attacked by a doggy. Look at this. Ah, it's a go alive sunset every day.
so he's down. Alors, now inside this place is the next place. We're looking for fuel because on the side of the road they sell fuel, so you don't need to go to petrol station. And luckily, because there is almost no petrol station. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tiens, it's here. This little people. No, no, on the right, on the right. Where? Red thing. Okay. Here, red people. Here they have okay, a lifesaver. Cross the road, you can. There is no one. Namaste. We need oh, some oil, please. Work. The bike is broken. Woo. Yes. One. Just one. Et voilà, lifesaver. Well done. We always seem to stop by the petrol place. Yeah. Every time, there's always a little oil stop. And your birds. Alors. The starter, the starter. Ok, vas-y. Pull it, pull, pull, pull. I'm pulling. Harder. Harder. 